my lords, um, I, I uh, disagree with this. Um, I want to agree with uh, one part, at least, of what um, the noble Baroness, Baroness Kennedy, has just said, which is that, indeed, um, any woman will have heard that vile abuse that, as was pointed out, spews out on the internet and online, and, indeed, can go offline to the bus stop, as she indicated. There is a coarsening of the discussion in relation to talking to women. But I think that's probably my challenge, which is, whilst that is vile in terms of legislation in order to deal with what's said to women, that could well be a serious challenge to free speech. And I do think that free speech matters, because an emphasis on the cause of women's safety could well be, and certainly some women believe so, at odds with the cause of women's freedom, women's liberation. And I do think that despite everything, if we're going to say that words matter, that constantly talking about misogyny as a problem that is so rife in society, we are in danger, as I've said, of frightening young women into believing that indeed misogyny is everywhere and that all men are misogynists and so on. So I want some caution here. In terms of a definition of misogyny, Despite the work that the noble Baroness uh, Kennedy has done in Scotland, the definition of misogyny is also very contentious, as in, indeed the definition in Scotland, when I talk to a variety of feminists in Scotland who disagree with that definition. It's very difficult to pin down what it is that we're talking about. I mean, goodness knows, we can't even get the definition of women right in 2022. We don't even agree on what a woman is. And I won't go round and ask front benches on all sides to give us that definition, but you will know that in order to uh, get yourself cancelled, you merely have to repeat the biological definition of women as a, 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 an adult female biologically, and you can get yourself into all sorts of trouble. I'm not saying that to be provocative. I'm making the point that if you're going to have a misogyny definition and you can't work out what a woman is in terms of a de definition, it at least shows it's complicated. I also think that um, the definition that was given in terms of, and was read out in terms of a type of um, uh, way of thinking is, and this is again where I do agree with, with uh, uh, Baroness Kennedy, is difficult if misogyny is a way of thinking that then leads to action, that we have to be careful that we don't try and criminalise ways of thinking, but also if we're then going to ask the law to add on extra sentences for people who are misogynist, that requires that they indulge in a certain amount of mind reading, um, if it's a way of thinking, and how do you deal with that? That's a difficulty. I also disagree with what the noble Lord, Lord Russell, said when he talked about stronger action being needed for what was described as gateway offences. Gateway offences, when you actually look at what's being said, creates a danger here that relatively minor offences will be treated as though they are a mere inevitable step to the most grievous crimes such as rape and so on. And I therefore think that that will lead to huge potential injustices of people who are uh, indulging in sexist, no doubt, inappropriate, sometimes uh, unpleasant activities, but being assumed that they will turn into a rapist or a murderer or a sex abuser could indeed label uh, a range of potentially young men who are, uh, have got a lot to learn, goodness knows, but as potential rapists, and I think we have to be very careful. So it's not that I um, want reassurance from the government. If anything, I want us to have a pause on this. It's become fashionable to feel that you have to say this, and I am as concerned as anyone about the problems of uh, rape convictions, rape prosecutions, rape convictions. These are very discreet and important issues for us to deal with. Under the auspices of concern about misogyny, I think we have to be careful. And if you oppose acting or being seen to act or doing things in relation to misogyny, I really do not want to be told that that means that one is cavalier 
about violence against girls and against women. Of course I am not cavalier about violence against women and girls. Why would I be? But it is not a rampaging issue that threatens everyone and it needs to be dealt with proportionally and with some sensitivity rather than under a banner headline.